Shanghai Jiaotong University's robotics team traveled more than 10,000 kilometers to St. Louis to compete in the first robotics championship. It was a long flight, but they had plenty of reasons to keep busy. I check my program for the robot because I am in charge of the robot uh, uh, programming part for the robot. So I rechecked it and I programmed some new. The students brought three boxes of parts on the 16-hour long flight with plans to upgrade their robot the next day. One night and a couple hours later, they were in line to get into the convention center where they would compete with more than 600 other teams for the championship. But first, it was time to unpack the robot. The robot has been in the United States since the team's last competition in Minnesota two weeks ago while the team went back to China. But since then, they've been hard at work trying to make it even better for the championship competition. In Minnesota, we fix the reel all the time. And this, at this time, we, we don't want to fix it anymore. So we changed a more stable wheel. The robot had to be completely disassembled and then reassembled in order to get the wheels on. It took the team three hours. After the base was rebuilt, they changed the hooks on the upper portion of the robot designed for lifting. That's how they score points in the competition. It was grueling work, and it was starting to get late, but the team was making progress. Things are getting better. All they had to do was add the electronics, the brain of the robot that would allow the team to control it during the competition the next day. In the morning, the team was in good spirits, ready to compete for the first time at a world championship. We are doing the final check of our robot and uh, we will make some small turns before we get into the field. A couple turns of the wrench later, it was time to compete. Tao Chun put the robot down on the field as driver Yu Peng took his position behind the glass. They would control the robot using a computer with a wireless connection. It was time for the match to start. The team is assigned number 5115 and the match began. But disaster struck. A battery had become loose. All the robot could do was bring boxes to the score zone one by one. The robot scored one, two, three, and four boxes in the zone before time expired. So I'm here with team 5115, the Shanghai team, back in the pits after their first round. They're trying to work on their robot to try and find out if they can actually fix it in time for the next round. Someone knocked off their uh, battery in the last round and hopefully they'll be able to get it done in time. Their robot hit our robot. You know, just uh, crashing together. But after some quick maintenance, everything's good as new. I think okay, uh, that's okay because it's the first team, uh, it's the first competition and we will we will have another one in that hour. Over the next couple of days, the Shanghai team reaches an average score of 85.8, which competition officials say is outstanding for a rookie year. Team 5115 plans to come back next year and do even better. Reporting in St. Louis, I'm Marcus DePaola.